Well, hello there, Shirley Rocks here. Welcome to Gold Rush, the game. Now, uh, I've decided to do a little video on this because I've been playing around the game and it was pretty frustrating at first knowing what I was actually meant to be doing. It's not really got that good a tutorial at the start in it. So I've done a little bit of a Gold Rush, the game, how to get started guide. So how do you start mining gold? So let's start a new game and then we can get into the actual meat and bones of it. So... Yeah, this game just basically dumps you into the game with a truck and you don't have a clue how you actually do anything. So I've, I've watched a few other people um, playing this to see how they're actually doing it. And then it's like, how on earth did I do it so wrong? I literally spent that like half an hour <laughs> trying to mine gold at the start. So hopefully this uh, this is going to help. So And it's a, it's a little bit fun to watch. It is, it is very uh, buggy. It's really... Um, Full of some like quirky little things like items disappearing, uh, slow frame rates, but it is early access and things will improve as time goes on. So, we're waiting for this to load in. Here we go. You know it loads in when you hear the handbrake. So, here we go. Here's my nice little truck. Whoa, look at that frame rate. Yeah, so, when you, get, when you see the loading bar top right, it's terrible sometimes, but as you can see, I can now jump in my truck, get the engine started, get the handbrake off, and first of all, we need to go get some supplies. So, this is the town that you're starting. Uh, I, hang on, if I just put the handbrake on and pause. I bring the map up. So this is the area where we are. This is me in my truck. Uh, you can see they've got a warehouse there where you go and buy your supplies from. There's a blacksmith over that way where you go and sell your gold. Where well, you can make the gold ore into bars or you can sell the ore. Uh, here's the machine shop, which I think that is where you actually purchase or purchase or rent vehicles. I've not even earned enough money to afford a bucket, never mind a vehicle. Uh, you've got the bank there, you can sell the gold bars to that and rent out plots. And you've got the gas station, which sells Twinkies. No, it doesn't. It sells gas. Uh, let's take the handbrake back off. Okay, and off we go. You can change the camera as well if you see. I prefer that mode normally. Okay, so let's, uh, let's see how good a driver I am. Let's uh, let's get this sucker reversed in. <laughs> ah, there. It's been some years since I've driven. Okay, we're going to stop out here. Handbrake on. Engine off with X. And we're going to go in here. Now... This is your warehouse. This sells all sorts of stuff from inner cogs to fuel filters to big mobile gas fuel tank things. You got all sorts of machines and this seems really bewildering but if you go to journal it has this is how to mine. So first of all you should go to the bank which I'm not, not doing. Uh, yeah, uh, go to the warehouse. So I need to buy hog pan no pump Hog pan sluice box core, two mats and a bucket. So this is all really simple ones. It looks really confusing, but it's not. Right, so first of all, we need a bucket. So we're gonna add one bucket. And the next thing we need is this stuff over here. These are the mats. These mats are what you, um, I guess you could say the like, um, um, Fil filter mats uh, it's the water comes through and the golden dirt gets catch caught in these mats and yeah you'll see in a minute right so we're gonna go for the hog pan no pump because it's cheap and then we need this as well which is uh, the core we'll buy that now let's see how much all that is Okay, 170. Now, hmm. Now, as I've played this before, let's uh, let's cheat a little bit. Oh, we've not got enough money. Okay, we're not cheating then. I was going to say we'd buy the extension because it's really useful, but we're not. Right, the items actually drop here. This is your loading area, so you need to go to the back of your truck, open her up, and now we need to load all our stuff onto, onto the uh, truck. So, throw that in. Let's get the uh, let's get this in now. This is always fun to get in the back of the truck. Oh, I've 
think that's it. Uh, let's. <laughs> yeah, that's definitely it. I'd be lucky to be able to get that out at the other end. Okay, let's uh, load this up. Oh, this is this is amazing loading skills I've got. They should harm me straight away. Okay, that's the second mat. Throw it in there. Nice. I'll shut the door. There we go. So we've got all the stuff we need now. Let's double check. So we've got the no pump. We've got the sluice box core, two mats, and a bucket. Okay, we've loaded up. Now we need to go to the bank. So in the truck. Space turns the handbrake off. X turns the engine on. And off we go. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh no! I think I think that's not what, how, how it's meant to be. Uh, let me get back to this. And we're back. So I actually did kill the actual game then with that. I don't know if it's the way I loaded the truck or what I'd done, but it, it broke. So <laughs> we're off to the bank now. And here's the bank. I'm only going to be a few seconds, so we'll leave the engine running. Okay. Go to the bank, and these are the plots that we can actually... You can do a number of things in here. You can sell your bars, it'll tell you the stock of the uh, the gold. You can take a loan out if you want, different interest rates for different amounts of uh, payments. So, oh, actually, no, it's not. It's a standard interest rate, 10%. I can take up to a $5,000 uh, loan out. We're not going to bother at the moment. Uh, we're going to look at this, so parcels. So, we're going to look at this one. This is a... Um, the one that you suggested to start with. It's $25,000 to buy it. Um, as you can see, it's provision of rent 0.2. doesn't really tell you how much it is to rent. You just click rent. There you go. I can now lawfully dig there now. So we need to get our way to this location now. So take the handbrake off. Now I think it's over. If we look at the map. It's over here. This one here. So we need to get over that way. Now, if I remember rightly, it's you go over here, past the warehouse, and then you hang a right here before the railroad tracks. Okay. So you actually, it's quite interesting. You actually have to drive to the location, which I think is pretty cool. Now you will see that top right there. You do see these loading things popping up, and sometimes it will hitch and pause a little bit. Apparently that affects everyone that plays it, it's not just my my uh, machine being potato. So we cross the tracks, we go through like an industrial zone. Oh, it's hitching. Yeah, so we go through this industrial zone, and then we hang a left. We also press Q, I think this is... Try and remember if that's on or off. If we, if we bring up the controls, there is differential lock. I think differential locks something to do with the way that the uh, wheels work with it being a 4x4. Four four. Um, if it's on, it's lit up. So, it does say you should disable it when you drive on asphalt. So, does that mean I have to leave it on when I'm off road? Nah, I don't know. So, I've got it on now. I don't know if that's good or bad. So you can see all the stuff in the back of the uh, truck just getting all thrown around. Hopefully, here we go. Hopefully it's going to stay intact. Okay, so this is my mining little camp. Oh, rocks. Yeah, this is a little thing I'm mining. This uh, renting, or whatever you call it. So, got a few facilities on here. Um, got a nice little shed there. In the bin. Um, got a stream to the right. We've got a camper van over here where we can sleep. And I'm going to be setting up over here. So let's reverse towards where I'm going to be. And brake on. Engine off. Out we get. Right, so. We've got our tan tent up here. Now this is where you do all your uh, panning and stuff. You have got various things you can use in here. So you've got a tablet. You can use this. Um, access to bank. Apparently you can hire workers, which excites me. Um, there's a bank, the bank as well, you can go into there, you can get a bit of detail about what you're doing. Um, a lot of the other stuff's coming soon, so there's no machines in at the moment. Now, you do start with a few items in here, so we need that, and we need that, but not just yet. So, we're going to go and uh, head over to the uh, truck. 
Open the tailgate. No. Want to open the tailgate? Let's do this properly like I'm a prof professional gold miner. There we go. Right. So now we go down to the river. Carrying this and we can't see where we're going. That's brilliant. Now where is it? I think it's on the other side of the river we need to put this. Where is it? Oh, it's here. Yeah, so it's on this track here. So that's the uh, little slope. Little trough thing put down. I've completely forgotten what it's called already. Sluice box something. Right, here's this one. Now, this goes at the front of the uh, contraption. Go. And then we need our mats. So, if you remember, I said before, these are for catching the, uh, the, the dirt. If I can actually get it fitted. There we go. So, we've got one. And we've got two. So, you get like a high level overview of the thing here. So, if you look at this here, I can extend it up to four with that track there, but I need money. Uh, so, stage one, you fill it with soil. Stage uh, two, you, you add the water up here. The water will flow through the soil and it'll separate all the soil out into little lumps of soil and gold. So, that shows how you do that. So, we get our bucket. And we dump our bucket over here. And now we press the uh, arrow key. We get our shovel out. Now I can dig all this area over here. So if I dig here, here you go. Little indentation. I now have soil. Then you have to put the soil in here. And you can actually uh, mine in with that bucket as well in the pan. But I'm, I'm doing it with this at the moment, this way. So that's gone up 10%. So let's fill this up. I mean, you can at the start just do it like this. Pretty quick to do it like this. Stand here. You do have to watch out, though, because you do end up building. Well, not building. You end up digging a massive hole. Let's, uh, let's dig behind it a little bit first. There we go. So it's just I'm just pressing E to uh, interact with this. Trying to dig this a little bit even so I don't get stuck in the hole. Okay, we're on 70%. 80%. We're on 100%. 90. Try and get this annoying bit I'm stood right on. Okay, we're on 100% now. So if we put the shovel away, pick up the bucket, go to the river. Fill the bucket with water. Now we dump the water in this. As you can see, soil's going down. All the bits are running. Well, it, it's basically it's running all the big bits into the um, into the river, and all the little tiny little bits that we want are going to be kept in there. I think that's how gold gold. Uh, I say gold farming. I think that's how gold mining works. So we're going to keep doing this till the soil goes right down. Normally, it takes about three buckets. Let's see how we're we getting on with that now. Is that gonna do us? Yes. And you can see the percentage there, how full up they are. So the five percent full at the moment. Okay. Now we need to get digging again. So as you can see, this is quite a uh, laborious pro pro uh, process at the start. Um, as you get more machines and stuff later on, I imagine it's gonna be a lot smoother. But for now, I'm stuck with doing a shovel and mining manually. I suppose it might be quite interesting if I actually kept track of how many shovels it takes to fill it up so I could actually do this and not have to keep looking at the air percentage. So I'm trying to dig and not leave a massive big uh, hole that I'm going to get stuck in. That's not really working out too good for me. Okay, 80%. One more for good luck. That 100% now. Oh, 90. You cheeky thing. One more. One more shovel then. Am I stuck in a hole? I'm, I'm out. Right, 100%. Get the bucket again. Okay. Now, I think this was three last time. So, uh, wait for the water to stop coming through. Fill it up again. Rinse and repeat. One more, I think. Let's 
check it out. Come on. One percent. Oh yeah. I thought that was gonna say uh, <laughs> like one percent then and just stop on it. Okay, we'll do one more. Try and uh, spread this out a little bit. You can actually put the soil into the bucket, so I guess if you had, if you knew how many buckets it was, you could maybe have um, like a trailer or something and bring these with you. For now, this is what I'm stuck with doing. Oh, I filled my bucket up. So that, that's how you fill your bucket up. You can fill it up like that. Now, can I fill the bucket up and put it on there? Oh, you can. There you go. I don't know why you'd want to add the extra step. It's it's enough for her stress as it is doing it this way. Okay, you're on 50%. And we're stuck in the hole again. Generally get yourself unstuck by just sort of wiggling around and moving a little bit. There you go. Okay. Maybe I need to... Uh, Make this a little bit straighter where I'm digging. Try and get rid of some of these bits. Okay. We're on full. Nice. So switch back to this. Go and fill my bucket up. Nice. I think, as well, I might show you panning with the uh, normal bucket if I get time. See how long this video runs. I don't want to be doing like 40 minute video and we're just doing this because come here for a tutorial and you'll be like, oh, Shirley Rock, you waffle so much. Right. 13%. I think that's pretty good. So what, what we need to do now, we need to fill this with uh, water. So now we're going to transfer the... Uh, the soil bits that we've got, we're going to wash it out and get this solution that we can pan for gold. So, you take your mats, mats out of the bucket, you go near the bucket until it says use, and then we dunk, and we dunk. And there we go, that's that placed. Put it back in. You can see the percentage, uh, oh you can't see the percentage on that when you take it out, that sucks. Right, dunk, dunk, nice. Ooh, I thought I'd knock the bucket over then. I was nearly going to cry. Right, so now we've got a bucket full of this uh, solution of gold and soil and who knows what else we've dredged up from the river. So we're going to go into our tent. And then we are going to uh, dump this into the panning. I think it's called, is it a panning pan or a panner? Oh, we do need some more water. Right, before I forget, I'll show you why now. So if we run down here, get some more water. We need this for the, uh, I'm going to call it a bathtub. I don't know what the gold official term is for it, but I'm calling it a bathtub. Right, so we need to dump the water in that. Now, how do we do that? Because I've never used it before. Ah, uh, you know what? I want to take it to the river and fill it with that. Okay, let's try that way. I think maybe I have to go to the river and fill this. Let's see. There we go. So it's now full of delicious clean water. I don't know why I couldn't fill it with a bucket. Okay. So now we're going to dump that on the floor. We're going to pick up the uh, the pan. And then you, you'll move near it and you see this gold symbol. Which means you can use it. So... We're going to navigate around until it lets me use it. Come on, let me use it. So as you can see, it is quite buggy. Uh, there we go. Right, finally used. Right, so we've got some controls for this. In fact, I'll show you the controls. I press uh, Z, I believe it is. That brings up the controls. Right, so we use this again. So first of all, you need to move the pan into the water, which is left button. So if we bring it down, you, you, oh, you gotta be kidding me. I've, I've dropped all my water. Right, let's try this again. Can I not fill that? 
That is pathetic. Right. We need to go and get some more water then. I told you this game was buggy. Right. Back down to the river. A little water. Because we knocked it when I was trying to navigate with it. And it's just thrown it everywhere. Okay. Back in here. Let's stick it in a more central location. So I'm not colliding and stuff. Okay. Come on. Here we go. Right. Now, A, A uh, D, and uh, W, and S navigate it around all the planes of axis. So we want to move it down. So now we've got it in the water. Let's take a bit of water off that. Now you need to start panning. So you just need to gently agitate it. You see the water starts uh, going dirty. Now this is basically you've got like lumps of soil and stuff with the gold in. So when you're agitating it, you're separating the gold from these uh, soil nodules so we dip a bit of water off agitate it a bit more and see some good chunks in there let's fill it back up again get agitating again and there's no indication of when you're actually finished with this uh, gold mining you just have to sort of keep doing it until you're done they do seem to shrink a little bit as you're doing it though so keep agitating it Okay, that's pretty good. Okay. Let's tip all the water out. Now, we need to get the gold out. So, you need to try and move the pan so that you can see the gold. So, I can see a couple of chunks there. Then you press shift. Okay. And then you need to aim at the gold with the cursor until it glows like that. There you go. And then you suck it up with your little empty ketchup bottle. There you go. And we'll try it and see if we've got any more we've missed. A bit more water. Ooh. That was fast. I can see another little glimmer of gold there. So we're going to agitate it some more. There's at least one more piece of gold in there. Now, if you guys have got any more tips on if this is the best way of doing this. Oh, we've got, oh, we've got two pieces. Excellent. Right, let's see if we can do it with the water in it. We can. There was definitely two pieces in that, I think. You can rotate it round. I get both the pieces. You can see the gold at the top right, so you can see I have actually got some extra gold there. Okay, let's agitate this some more. Don't seem to be uh, getting much... Uh, uh, wash off on this now so I'm, I'm wondering if I've uh, got all the gold out of this okay a bit more of a shake come on shake it up shake it up let's empty it out again <laughs> that's not that's what you shouldn't do I think once you've chucked it like that you pretty much lose the stuff so anyway what I want to do is I want to do this I want to try yay Dump that. Okay, we're finished with doing the um, the panning. Now, I wanted to try the manual method of uh, doing this. So, this hasn't got water in at the moment. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down here. I'm going to dump my bucket. I'm going to dig. I want to see if this method works. I don't know how many shovelfuls a bucket can take. Hmm. Now, if I've been doing this at a shovel at a time, it doesn't tell me how full this bucket is. Maybe I should be filling the... Um, maybe I should be filling up my uh, machine like this. It looks like it's getting fuller. You know what? I think this is going to be a better method than doing one shovel at a time. Is it going to tell me when it's full? I hope I'm not wasting this uh, gold here. Well, this uh, stuff. Yeah, if that can only... Th There's no way that bucket can hold that much uh, materials. No way. Let's, uh, let's have a little look. So you can dump it like this. Oh! That was meant to be a bucket... I just done that wrong. 
That was meant to be a bucket of, sa of uh, sand. Right. So I've done two buckets. That is definitely just sand. You saw me do that. Let's try and dump it again. Hmm. I don't think that's right. Right, we'll try this. We'll try, we'll try the method I was... I thought maybe I could fill up the bucket with quite a few and then uh, I could then, you know, instead of doing one shovel at a time, I could do one bucket. But that's not working. Right, so we're getting this. Take the bucket back to the camp. Apparently this is another way of doing this. I've not actually tried it yet, though, so we're going to see if it works. So you can empty the bucket directly into it like that. So now you've got, like, the soily beads in that. I need, uh, we shouldn't need to get more water because we've got water in there. So if we pick this up. Okay, navigate around here. Do use. Okay, let's see if we get any, any gold in this. We only really dug for a little tiny bit though, so I'd be very surprised if we get anything out of this. Um, here we go. That sand, the soil seems to come off that a lot more then. Oh, what? We've got gold straight away. you got to be kidding me. Right. Collect it. Ah, oh, it's rolled over. Come on. Show me the gold. There you go. We've got one. We've got two. Okay, let's dunk this back in again. Let's see if we get any more out of this. Dump a bit of water out. Not seeing any more uh, gold than that. Yeah, so that is another way of uh, mining. So you, I think it's meant to be more effective with the other method, though, to be honest. the um, Using the sluice box thing. So we're going to go back to town now. We have got a little bit of gold. I'm going to try and quickly get back to town before nightfall. So jump in the truck. Engine on. Handbrake off. And off we go. So it has got like a day-night cycle in this. If you get stuck at night, you can actually... Go to sleep in your um, caravan, sleep until dawn, because it is pretty annoying working at night. You can't, you literally can't see anything. Um, I don't know why. You'd, it might be quite cool at night though if you've got some of the machines that are going to come later on with lights on and stuff. I think that'd look pretty awesome. Uh, so we're going to quickly try it and not get lost and find the blacksmith. Okay. Let's turn off that differential lock. That's classed as a whoa. That's classed as a road. No, we need we need that back on. I think for rough roads. And we're loading again. There's the loading hitch. So we're looking for the blacksmith. Now, if my memory serves me right, it's up here just before you get back into town. Around here, I think you have to cross the railroad tracks. Where is he? Where is the pesky little blighter? Look on my map. So it says he's over there to the right. So let's go and head up this way. It will take a while for me to get used to all the locations. So I think if I do regular videos on this, then I might have to do a lot of stuff off stream because you don't want to see 40 minutes of me digging <laughs> and then five minutes of me um, panning for gold. Okay, blacksmith's up here. Okay, let's turn the lock back off. Here we go. This is a blacksmith, apparently. Handbrake on, engine off, out we go. So it is good the way you can explore everything. Look at this. Yeah. Nice little bite there. So this is the blacksmith. So we go and uh, knock on the door. So we've got a different number of things we can do here. We can craft the gold into bars. There you go, like that. Or we can sell the ore. So... We need to sell the ore that we've got. So let's sell what we've got. So we've got a massive $62 for that. Six ounces. Woohoo! So we are pretty rich now. So we've got $116 now. Though I think at this point it would probably be good for me to uh, invest in maybe um, 
a loan and I think it's $200 to get the next, next extend, extension so I don't want to get a loan or whether to get the um, just mine a little bit more and get a bit more uh, stuff but uh, anyway that's all I'm going to show you for now so this is Gold Rush uh, the game and this was the Gold Rush how to go, how to uh, how to mine gold I guess you'd want to call it so if you want to see some more of this on the channel leave a comment below and I'll upload some more videos of it. Uh, seems an interesting game so far, considering it's early access. I've not had too many really bad issues, apart from the um, <laughs> the, uh, the crashing game before with how I loaded my truck. But uh, yeah, so that's it for now. This is uh, the first in a hopefully long series on it. And I will see you next time. So thank you for watching and see you again.